Today, we're giving you the scoop on one of our most popular topics, energy savings for renters. And hey, you won't want to miss how you can win this awesome prize pack full of LEDs, smart power strips, lots of cool techie tools, and two free movie passes that we're giving away. So you won't want to miss it. Let's get started. So in our last episode, we mentioned that about half of Hawaii's families rent their homes. And I was just thinking, what if all of our renters saved just 5% on their energy bill? Think about how much energy and money we'd be saving. Yeah, quite a bit. But you know, we get a lot of feedback from the public and everybody kind of says it's a different journey when you, for all renters when you're trying to save energy in your home. Some people pay their electricity bill. And some don't even see their electric bill. Yeah. Some have permission to fix and repair their appliances. And some are just stuck with what their landlord chose them. So we get a lot of questions on what can I do as a renter to save energy? And just as importantly, is it even worth it? Mm -hmm. So today we have a new segment called Ask the Expert. And since we're talking about renters today, we decided to bring in our resident apartment expert, Bob the Healing. Hey Bob, Hi. welcome to Hawaii Energize. Thanks for Hi, being here. Bob, thanks for Let's being go. here. Have a seat. Have a seat. Well, since today's episode is focused on renters, Bob, can tell us how a renter family can save on their electric bill. Well, one of the things that I found out uh, very quickly is that their clothes washing habits in terms of uh, washing clothes and uh, a lot of them, a lot of them use hot water still to go ahead and wash their clothes. And that's not necessary because today's uh, laundry detergents, they're designed for cold water wash. You really shouldn't be using hot water unless it's possibly a grease or oil stain on it. Um, if there happens to be a stubborn dirt stain, go ahead and just uh, use an additive along with your laundry detergent, something possibly with enzymes and that should do the trick. Any other, what else, what other kind of tips? We love these, these are really like neat tips, yeah. Okay, well, um, another thing I found was uh, in terms of refrigeration. Refrigeration can be as much as 15% of your energy, uh, energy oh, bill. Okay. And so, uh, what I always do when I go into homes, uh, I check the refrigerator to make sure they have, um, you know, a good seal on their, on the refrigerator. You don't want that cold air to go ahead and escape and the uh, compressor and, and motors to constantly keep the uh, inside cool. So what I suggest to them is always go ahead and check your gasket seal around the, uh, the edge of the, uh, of the doors. Uh, make sure that they're clean. Um, and to do a quick and dirty check, go ahead and put in a, a little sheet of a tissue paper or even toilet paper, stick it in the door, close the door, try and pull it out. And if you can pull it out without tearing, then you know, uh, it's not quite good as a, a very good seal. You want that thing to, to tear because you know it has a nice snug seal. If it, if it, if it doesn't tear, then go ahead and just Use a regular household cleaner, clean around the edges of that, clean around the inside of the door of the refrigerator also. And um, if you have any mildew, uh, simple distilled white vinegar should do the trick. Very interesting. <laughs> now, another way to think about efficiency is feeling more comfortable in your home for the same amount of energy. And Bob, do you have any tips for us on how we can feel comfortable in our homes without increasing our electric bill? Sure, you know, another thing, uh, walking into homes, especially during the, 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 warm, the warmer months, yeah is to have folks try and, and use their fans more efficiently. We want to avoid it, folks using air conditioning as much as possible because of the high energy use. Right. Basically, if they happen to have a ceiling fan, I encourage that because uh, that's a great way to go ahead and try and cool the room down. Yeah. But unfortunately, what I find in some homes is that the fan is rotating in the, in the wrong direction. Okay, tell yeah. us more about that. We want the fans to rotate in a counterclockwise direction. Yeah, um, fans are all designed, the blades are all designed uh, at a particular angle to go ahead and make sure that uh, in a counterclockwise direction, the cool air which is distributed throughout the room and that makes the room cooler overall. In the clockwise direction, it's actually distributing the warm air that's in near the ceiling and that brings it down into the, into the room level. And so again, you're having the opposite effect. Wow. Yeah. So when I tell my friends to go home and check the rotation of their ceiling fan and they flip the switch, where, or is there a switch to be flipped or... Do you have to uh, call somebody? Call and someone? how can you tell that you're doing it the right way? Oh yeah, no, it's, it's something that's very simple to do. Just go ahead and look at the base of the fan where all the uh, fan blades are connected and you can find a, 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 little, a, a little toggle switch. 
Um, flip that switch in the opposite direction and you can reverse the rotation. Okay, good. So this is something that our viewers and our friends can go home and do this evening. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Well, hey, so thanks, Bob, so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. Yes. And since we have you here, we had some viewers submit some questions from our last episode, and we were wondering if you wouldn't mind helping us answer a couple of them. Absolutely. Right. Okay, so question number one is from Charlene in Makikilo, and she says, you know, I don't run my AC that much in my home, and I replaced all my lighting to LEDs, and I still think my bill is kind of high. So, Bob, what do you think she can do? Is there any big other area that she can tackle to try to lower her energy cost? Sure. Again, let's uh, go ahead and focus on refrigeration. Refrigeration, again, being about 15% of your utility bill. One thing to remember for whether it's refri refrigerator or freezer yeah. is to make sure that it's as full as possible. Uh, they'll, it'll actually run more efficiently if it's a full refrigerator or freezer. Wait, so a fridge full of food is more efficiently running than my empty refrigerator. Yeah, yeah because remember that every time you open up that door, you're going to lose all that cold air. And um, if it's empty, you're going to lose it a lot quicker every time you open the door. Um, if you have more items in the refrigerator that are already, already cooled and They'll, it'll retain that cool air when you open it and you won't lose as much whenever you open the door. And that way the compressors and motors won't have to turn on and, and you won't be using more electricity and so on. Our next question comes from John in Makiki who just moved into an old apartment building and he was taking a look around and was wondering what can Hawaii Energy do to help my whole building? Oh well, that's something that's uh, right out of our wheelhouse. Yes. Hawaii Energy has uh, developed uh, a program called Energy Smart for Homes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we realized that the multi-family uh, multi properties are uh, a pretty underserved uh, sector of the population. So what we wanted to do uh, as a program was to go ahead and to go into these multi-family properties and retrofit each individual unit, uh, make it more energy efficient by providing um, energy efficient lighting, water conservation measures that will use less demand on the electric water heating, and even advanced power strips that will manage your powers for, your, for the appliances that are plugged in. All of these are provided free, absolutely no cost to the property or the residents, and uh, again, it's, it's through Hawaii Energy. Yeah, so how would somebody sign up their building for that? They're like, yeah, I want to do that. What would they do? Uh, very simple. All, all anyone would have to do, any person that's concerned or interested, all they would have to do is just go ahead and call 537-5577, speak to one of our energy advisors and mention that uh, you're interested in the Energy Smart for Homes program. They can go ahead and work you through the process and get you set up. Got it. What's that number again, Bob? Number again is 537-5577. Bob, it's been such a pleasure for us yes, to have you on you the so show. Much. Thank you for taking time out of your day to <laughs> join us. Uh, it just occurred to me that these tips can also be used for homeowners as well. You don't have to be a renter. So yeah. a lot of the unique tips that Bob gave us are going to be on our website and more information. So check us out and you can download these tips at hawaiienergy.com slash energized. And don't forget, if you have a question for us, for Bob, or you want to see something on future episodes of Hawaii Energized, send us a question on social media and use the hashtag Hawaii Energized. Stick around to see how you can win our great gift pack. We'll be right back. Aloha, I'm Kili'i. And I'm Ku'ubei. And we're the hosts of a fun and fascinating program brought to you by Hawaii Energy called Energy, Energy Unplugged. Unplugged. We come to you and your community and teach you simple but effective ways to save energy in your home every single day. That's right, because when you save energy, you can save money. We like to think of it as making money, and we want to teach you how to become energy entrepreneurs. Absolutely. So if you're interested in this program, come and visit us on our website and make a reservation. Yes, visit hawaiienergy.com slash energy unplugged. Hope to see you soon. We've had lots of great information in this episode. Don't forget to go to hawaiienergy.com slash energized and download our free printable guide to all the things we talked about today and more. Yes, and we want to send a big mahalo to Bob, Kili'i, Ku'ubehi, and everyone who helped us with this episode and shared their expertise with us. And now, we're excited to announce that we're doing our very first giveaway! Woohoo! So tell them what's in the bag, Ramsey. Well, we've got a smart power strip, a bunch of LEDs, an energy efficient and water efficient shower head, and a whole lot of Hawaii Energy swag. And don't forget, two free movie passes. Hey, everybody could use that, right? <laughs> So to enter and win this, all you have to do is go to any one of our social media pages. Anyone, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and just leave us a comment saying how you save electricity. That's easy. Could be in your home, your business. You can get as creative as you want. Just type, use emojis, send us a picture, whatever you want. Just let us know and we'll feature the winner on the next episode. 
Yes. Hey, why not use that social media you're on every day to win some free stuff? Yeah, why not? <laughs> As always, mahalo for stopping by, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Hawaii, Hawaii Energized. Energized. Today we're gonna to talk about one of the most pop the. Uh, these bloopers are gonna be good. <laughs> and he just moved into a new apartment. Sorry. <laughs> Let's build a better community together. Learn more at hawaiienergy.com and follow us on social media for the latest news and program updates.